All right, chat. I'm back. Let's go ahead and get the setup started. American Legion Boxing Stadium, 9 p.m. This is the third vice case. You like the fight game, Phelps? Believe there's three more I did a after boxing this. Boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Are there actually? There might only be two more. Make you a sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, twelve cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, ten. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey is about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. Boxing in VR is actually so much fun. It really takes out the energy in you, too. Ah, oh, look who it is. He's taking them punches. Oof. Son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert. You get out here right now. Step back. LAPD. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. This one. Harry. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Good to me. Uh, newspaper. Alienist Fontaine working selflessly to help the infirm. You look troubled. You look troubled. It reminds me of the guy in uh, House of Doctor. Cards. Can't remember the actor's Can name. I help, Courtney? Read the Is second. Money? No, no, Doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Ridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. 
The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. Something, something like that. Alienist Fontaine. There it is. Nope. Hey man, you're a little close to me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're really finding anything else. Bunch of doggos barking. your head on my you shoulder. better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me i feel bad too that song's stuck in my head right he now guaranteed me he would take the flop i guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me whoa what's Roy, going on here boys too? mickey seems that way don't worry about it my boys are out looking for him well you'd better call them off this is a police matter now if anything happens to hammond i'll testify that you made threats against him who's the greyhound He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. <laughs> I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. There it is. All this in. Operator, give me R and I. Arm and die. Now. Thanks, Siri. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How, How can I help, detective? I need an address <laughs> for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Hey. Thanks, ma'am. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Hotel do we El Mar. Know where we're going? Yes, we do. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Hotel Elma. Alright, 
Let's see what they got going on here. Yeah, what do you want? What, what do you want? want? We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. I don't need this. I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. They have some funny names. You're a real asshole. You know that? Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Uh, you got a problem, pal? Door's unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. Hmm. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. Let's go after his girl, see if that gets us any closer. There's this angle if he has a real love interest. There's still more. There's a note right here. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Another window exit. Must have just missed him. Western Union. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Nice. What's your plan? Any ideas? All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Okay. I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. I used to be indecisive. Right. Now let's I'm not so sure. <laughs> you can drive. <laughs> I love the little comments. Oh, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. Juvenile delinquency is an... I leave motel, 9.18 p.m. See what we got here. We need to know which room is Candy's. This guy's got a Can screw loose. You, LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Apartment 7. 
Give it up, Sounds bitch. like we're missing all he's the fun. Gone and Get in there, the and You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he. There it is. Hey. Whoa. Like hitting women. This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. Here's some boxing for you. How about that? <laughs> Inspect the unconscious body. Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. Nasty weapon. Oh boy. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. <laughs> Check this pocket. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Not bad. She's leaving town. Single ticket, one way. Okay. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Scania sails from New York. Trying to leave the country? Maybe. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. <laughs> Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're bouts of Hammond. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. I can, though. <laughs> Magazine coupon. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. List of odds so recovered. Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Ah, it's either doubt or lie. Oh. Give up these men, Miss Edwards, and we'll think about letting these charges against you slide. What? Charges against me? All I did was try and look out for Albert. Now he skips out and I have to take beatings for him as well? Plans to leave town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. It's a lie. You're lying to me. Albert finally won a big fight. I say good luck to him. But you know where he is. Let me help him, Candy. Do all you cops run off at the mouth? Prove I know where he is. The bus ticket? I don't oh. know where he is, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Well, get out of your way, Candy. We know you're a busy lady. Like I said, I've done nothing wrong. The LAPD expects a little more cooperation. You'd better watch your back, sister. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. 
I say stake her out. See where she goes. Okay. 4.08 p.m. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Just reading the paper here. Well, they not wearing the same suit of the guy that was in your room last night. That's the first time we failed the case, I think. I think. Oh, really? You can't skip these parts. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Tail Candy Edwards. Remain hidden in plain sight by going incognito. So basically, we shouldn't run. keeping our distance right now he's definitely going to that yellow car She's not headed for that. It's really far up there. Honest. Move in. I risk losing the trail.
too. Gotta be sneaky. Sneaky snake. <laughs> Almost there. I think. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. Investigate the thrifty store. Bookmaker's office. Knock, knock. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. What are you doing? An old so, intelligence trick from the Marines. Why does he keep picking it up and then putting it down? Bro, what? I'm stumped. Ideas? It's not letting me do anything. Did she use the payphone? He picks it up and then puts it down instantly. Ready, ready? One click. You wanna give it a shot? Come on. Let's turn off this. Let's see if this works. Wow, this works. That's so funny. If you put it into 30 frames per second mode, it works. But now that it messed up the resolution, so I'll have to fix it. We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. All right. Yep. And you can tell by looking at that. And there we go. That fixes it. It's weird. You know the way. You can drive. Where are we Examiner going? Examiner drugstore. Car 11 K 11 King. Further to your request, Bumco Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner drugstore, and a Max Skirts at 1658 North Cherokee. Huh. KGPL clear. So they have a few uh, bookmakers' offices. 5.04 p.m. Look at that bull that 
that do it? Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. <laughs> she took me to the cleaners. You 4, did. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Yellow cab. We need to get after her fast. Operator, give me dispatch. What? Putting you through now. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the yellow cab company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Do you have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. <laughs> Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right, where to? Wait, to rapes, bookmakers. Hammond backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Question oh. is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? That's the cab. That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She knows goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Can you quit driving like a jackass already? Hammond is full of himself. Half of them do. Being this sure he was gonna win. They tailgate the car in front of them, so Whoa, often back off the NPCs. Before we get made. Chill. Just got into an accident. Do these NPCs don't know how to drive for the life? Oh. You think GTA NPCs are bad? Oh my god, this game is so much worse. Like, what is that? Let me guess, this guy's turning left too. Go! That would be a bad time to forget how to drive. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Oh, 
Almost there. There it is. Pull over. He's heading inside. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. What the heck? That is a nerve to understand it's a full crime. Mister, a man like you always loses a battle of wits because you're unarmed. See him? I saw his picture in the paper. He worked that case with that lady cut up like a dog. Roy! Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <laughs> Try and sit still, Candy. Make Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Oof. There's even the gun. Thirty-two caliber, one shot fired. The Egyptian theater. Hmm. So what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Jeez, this place cleared out quick. All right, over to the theater we go. Can you drive to this one? Do we know where we're going? Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. Egyptian Theater, 9.05 p.m. This seems like a long shot, aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Jeez. Car 11 King, wow. this is from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. Son of a bitch. Player. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea hmm. cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Knock knock. You like to kill her, Carlos. Your gripe was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you. And she stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. Then you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. 
Everyone wanted me to take the short money. It's for the best. Kid. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb, and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying, and it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it and make a quick buck. And Candy did it and make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. Oh, boy. We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. down below now. He's dead now. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Yaskanya sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! I'm hearing rumors of a fight that was fixed, of gangsters looking to get square, that LAPD cops might be involved. Either of you two sons of bitches know anything about that? No, sir. So, the dead wop who turned up in this theater, who used to be a boxing manager, who murdered Candy Edwards, has nothing to do with the fix? Absolutely not. Earl? You're doing venereal disease citations until you can learn to stop lying to me. Phelps, got anything to add? Uh, no, sir. Get your uniform from your locker. You're back on the street. Oof. One star. <laughs> the Naked City. All right, hold on one second, chat. I'm.